Hello and welcome. I'm Jenny Hall. Thanks for joining me today. I am going to share my 2017 on stage live swaps. So I hope you're excited. I've got lots and lots of fantastic cards that crafters and stampers have made to share. So if there's any questions that you have at all about a card that I have, please type it into the comments. And also, just if you want to say hello, then type a comment and we can interact. I want to apologize first for the background noise. There's some kind of a leaf machine outside on the corner, <laughs> down the outside of my house a little bit, and it's a bit loud, so I'm sorry for the background sound. I've zoomed my camera in so that you'll get a really nice look at all of the cards. So this is the card that I have created for my swaps. I made 60 swaps for on stage, and I'm happy to say that I came home with no cards of my own. They're all swapped for other people, and that is so exciting. If you are interested in this design or the technique on how I created this card, then visit my blog, and you can look up watercolor smushing technique. I created a blog post that's especially for this card. If you receive this card at OnStage, then please tell me uh, in the comments that you have received my card, and I'm so excited. So let's get started. I'm just going to go through as quickly as I can, and I'll list who the crafter is, and maybe point out something that I think is special about every card. And if you have a question about a card, then just jot it down in the comments. So this was my card, and I created the card front on a piece of watercolor paper with the watercolor smushing technique. And I also used the ink splatter where you put a drop of tuxedo black ink onto a clear block and then you just kind of flick it off with the paintbrush. It's really easy and it creates an interest for a card that would otherwise maybe not be as busy. So it's just a little something extra. And then I have a glitter enamel dot and a rhinestone. And I stamped directly onto the watercolor paper here. And then I used my aqua painter to fill in the open images. And I added that cute little ladybug. She is just too cute. So that's my card. And the next card that I have to share with you is this gorgeous card that was created by my friend Carolyn Sander. And she's at carebearstamps.com. Um, you can look up Carolyn Sander if you'd like to get any of the information. This card is so pretty and it's sunshiny and it reminds me of Carolyn and her beautiful spirit. So I can tell that this is an embossed card front and it looks like the doily has also been heat embossed which is really special treatment and we've got a couple of different colors that are on a watercolor wash on top of a, of a sentiment that is also got some beautiful embossing and it's on a yellow card base beautiful card well done Carolyn here is a Christmas card, and it is from Belle Harder, and she is in Bingham Lake, Minnesota. Isn't this amazing? This is one of my favorite cards. I like the rich tones to the card. The card front is embossed. Looks like it's the softly falling um, embossing folder. And she has die cut from the Carols of Christmas and stamped with Carols of Christmas and this would be the card front builder um, dies and I'm not sure if you can see it but the trees are covered in Wink of Stella I hope you can see a little bit better I know it might look a little bit dark beautiful card really beautiful I'm getting close up for that I know it's a little bit dark this one is tone on tone look but it's spectacular in person and she's done a fantastic job. The next card, I don't have a name of the crafter, 
sometimes when people swap they don't include their name and so I'm not able to say who it is but isn't this such a beautiful card we have a little bit of the um, musical notes designer series Christmas paper every one of these flowers has a pearl and the colors are matching just perfectly she's even stamped the sentiment in gray which matches perfectly with the pink very nice so the next card we have is from Lynn Ernst, and I'm not sure where she's from, but it is quite a special card. I can, I'm going to take this one out, and please if you're joining and you'd like to share who you are and where you're from, then I would love to interact with you. Let's see if Lynn tells me. It doesn't say where Lynn's from, but I met her when we swapped and had a nice conversation. She's a very, very special lady. This is just a card front, as most swaps are, but this has a special feature. Here we go. Look at that hidden surprise. Gorgeous. Lynn has done an amazing job here, and there's loads and loads of sparkle on this card, too. Very nice. Well done, Lynn. The next card is from Betsy Lang, and she is from Lenore, Idaho. This is a stunning card. She's got some embossing, and the embossing is colored in an ombre kind of look. The back side of this metallic doily works perfectly. It's all a really wonderful card. I'm really amazed at how people can take the same products and do so many different things. It, it's just, it's a stunning card in person. Beautiful. The next card also does not have a crafter's name, but I think you can tell that this is a special card too. It's amazing. Look at how everything matches perfectly. She's taken the time to put a bow and matched up all the paper. Very well done. Here's another card that we have a pink theme. Pink was a very popular theme um, that I noticed for the swaps that I received. And the paper is just matching everything so nicely. This is a very nice design as well. I'm very fond of it. It's a beautiful card. The next card is from Bernadette Dorr, and she is from Vineland, New Jersey, which is really close to me, like 30 minutes. And it's amazing how we both ended up at the same place, so far away from our home. This, this was the on stage in Salt Lake City. And this is a gorgeous card. Look at all the layering and texture. And I believe this is a full card. It's not just a, a card front. And I really like how she's given subtle colors. It looks wonderful. The next card is from Barb Klaust. And here we have the little drummer guy. And it's, if you can tell, I'll turn this at an angle. This is actually a die cut. And the music sheet paper is die cut to reveal black underneath. And we have some Week of Stella happening. This is a really nice card. The next one is from Rhonda Glaze from Arlington, Texas. And I love these color combinations she has with the copper and the tone on tone look. Really pretty. Hi Michelle, thanks for joining me. Are you ready to look at all these gorgeous cards? The next card also doesn't have a name, but this is just wonderful. This is also a full card instead of just a card front, which that's a, a really nice bonus. And we have a beautiful Merry Christmas here. This is a really nice color combination too. The next one is from Gail Stevens from California. And look at this beauty. This is such a great job. 
She's gotten some masking in here and combined some different stamps. It's so cute. This little piggy in red looks wonderful. Here's a card from Peggy Arisman. Sorry if I mispronounced your name. And she's from Naperville, Illinois. This is a special card because as you can see, it has a little pocket up here. And she told me when we swapped that this pocket was designed to hold a gift card. So this little thing here can be, you can attach a gift card down here to the bottom or to the back or any way you like. And it's just a wonderful idea. Thanks for swapping with me. I love this card. This card is from Terry Gaines. And look at her cool coloring. I like this color combination too. And this is a really great design. You could adapt it for so many different projects. The next card is from Lisa Van Gore from Lafayette, Colorado. And look at this beauty. This is a fantastic color combination. It's not going to appeal to everybody, but with blue being my favorite color, it certainly appeals to me. And I love how she's gotten the rich brown tones mixed in with it. Gorgeous. This is Lynn Rector, and she has created a fancy fold, which I'll take out. Oops. Now we see that the top comes up. And it's a double C fold. Looky there. So I think you've got a couple of different options here. It definitely is a step up card. It says, Chuck them right back. Happy birthday. Very nice. Definitely an extra special card. This card is from Dawn Michels, and she is in Stillwater, Minnesota. Look at this beauty. This red glimmer paper just jumps right off of the page. I love it. Beautiful. Wendy Bronson is up next, and have a look at how she's used the Color Me Happy bird with a different stamp set and used a wonderful little branch here. And there's quite a bit of sponging on it as well. Fantastic. Gretchen Gupert is up next and she's from Minnesota. And look at all of the detail on this card. It is amazing. She's done a fantastic job with using the subtle background stamp, the burlap stamp. And here's Happy Birthday Gorgeous from Beautiful You. And mixed in some lots of different things. And the twine is perfect for the linen thread. It's wonderful. If you'd like to join in the conversation and say where you're from, then that would be nice. I'd love to interact with you. We have next Betsy Guthu from Appleton, Wisconsin. And she has gotten some die cuts here to allow the designer series paper to show through. And we've got Jar. Wonderful card. I love the colors too. And here's Nicole Flournoy and she is, not, I'm not sure where she's from. But this is a really beautiful card. Look at the subtle use of these stamps from pieces and patterns. Very pretty. And the rhinestones just really set it off. Now we have Paula Wright. Beautiful lady and beautiful card. This is the black ribbon that has some sparkle to it. And she's done a lot of the two-step stamps. And this is really gorgeous bringing in the Tranquil Tide. Well done, Paula. You are a master at cards. Very pretty. 
Kimberly Uradomo from Hawaii. This card has come a long way to land in my hands. Look at all of the embossing. I believe this is a full card as well. Maybe it's a card front, but it's a lot of layers. A lot of love went into this card. It's gorgeous. If you have any questions about any of the cards that I'm showing, and if I can answer it, I'll be glad to. Here is a bookmark, and it was created by Christine Kirpiel, and she is from Reinholds, Pennsylvania. This is so sweet and so cool, and I really like how she's pulled the military theme in together. Beautiful. Well done. Jeannie Bapisteller, and look at how Jeannie has used the fresh color combination into this wonderful card. I like how this is really raised. If you can see that this daisy is really jumping off of the paper. Here is a card by Brian King, and I love the use of the bird. This is from Bird Banter Stamp Set, and that is a new stamp set that's coming out in the Occasions catalog. Beautiful card and wonderful striking color combination. Well done, Brian. Casey Nowway, I hope I'm saying it right, Nowway, and she is from Miami, Florida. And look at all of the yummy colors on this card. And these daisies really do just like fly off the paper. Gorgeous. Here is a card from Adrian West. And look at all of these wonderful texture looks. This is really pretty and I especially like the little piece of ribbon here. Well done, Adrian. Annette Jensen is swapped this gorgeous card and Annette and I had a little conversation about this card. She actually watercolored all of the background pieces for her swaps and if you can see that it comes out all the way to the edge so when she's made the die cut here on the white panel it allows for the design to show through and it shows through on the edges. This is a very stunning card and it's really well thought out and designed. Karen Cook from Pitts Grove, New Jersey, which is also not far from me. This is a wonderful, beautiful card. Look at all of the vintage look for this lighthouse. This is stunning. She's done such a wonderful job. The sponge work here is just phenomenal. Stacy Clausen from Minnesota has this fun little Santa card. There's quite a bit of extra special things happening here. We have the Santa, which is colored in beautifully, and the little wine glass is perfectly placed in his hand, and she's taking the time to stamp out Happy New Year, and there is some sparkle happening on the card too that you can't really see on camera. It's really nice looking and there's wonderful coloring on it. She's done a, a taken a lot of extra steps. It's really really cool. I like the idea that Santa is celebrating after Christmas time. It's kind of humorous. It's very funny. Linda Coleman from Provo, Utah. I like this card because she's taken the time to hand pencil or hand uh, journal pen everything and I believe she's used the Stampin' Blends and you can't see it but down underneath the flower and out into the white area is got a little bit of an ivory look. It, it appears to be done with the Stampin' Blends. This is a very pretty card. Maria Medeiros has this wonderful card, and this is a full card also. And look at how she has used her Stampin' Blends to color in this beautiful kitty and little girl. Wonderful card. 
I keep saying wonderful card, but I'm telling you, there's just some really, really great cards there. Here is another card that doesn't have a stamper's name on it, but it is nonetheless really pretty. And I like how she has kind of gotten the, the snowflake theme with the music, but you still catch the snowflakes that would be synonymous with this little snow person. I guess it would be a snowman. I like snow ladies too, or snow families. It's really cute. Good job on this card. The next one is from Jari Johnson, and this is another full card. And this card, I'm telling you, there is some really special stuff happening. I'm going to take it out just so that you can see all of the special work that Jari has made. There's no sentiment inside, but if I hold it at an angle, you can see that this little doggy, the little poodle, is stacked up die cuts. I hope you can see that. And she's taken the time to put like maybe four of those. So the dog actually is not raised on dimensionals. It's just die cuts that are glued and stacked onto one another to create a tremendous amount of stability and dimension. The one major benefit of working in this fashion is that number one, it's quick to make a lot of die cuts when you have the dies on hand. And number two is that the image that you're raising up on the top of this stack is going to be very stable. So when this card is mailed, then the little poodle area is, if you can see here, it's not going to get damaged at all. It's not going to bend or it's not going to, I mean, I can peel this off if I really try hard, but it's very stable. So she's taken a lot of extra effort for this card. And this is a really wonderful swap. It gives a lot of ideas to somebody that may be looking for some kind of a new design to be working with. Well done, Jari. Here's another gorgeous card, and this is from Chris Waddell. It might be Weddle. Sometimes I'm a little bit um, questionable on the name, so I apologize in advance if I am not getting the names right. This is a striking color combination. This is Believe Berry Burst and probably Old Olive mixed in with maybe a little Pear Pizzazz. And it's a gorgeous card. There's so many different ways that you can feature this Christmas tree look. And the fact that she's gotten it in a little bit of an ombre look is a little step up and it really shows that she took the time for this card. It's gorgeous. Hi, Julie. Thanks for joining me. I'm originally from the Houston area, so you're close to my hometown. So howdy. The next card is from Robin, and she is from Schaumburg, Illinois. And this is an extra, 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 extra special card because Robin is on my team, and she let me choose which color. This is the one that I chose. I'm really very much seeing a lot of pink this year for Christmas, and that really makes me happy. I like that we can use so many colors from so many different um, colorways to go for Christmas. Now this card has a um, has the swoosh. If you can see the little starlight swoosh, and she's taken the time to make sparkling snow, and she sponged in all of this this color. It's amazing. Robin is an incredible stamper, and it really shows the work that she has taken time to share on this swap card. And it's amazing. Thanks for swapping with me, Robin. I love this card. The next one is from Meg Monahan, and Meg is actually my travel buddy. We traveled from New Jersey to Salt Lake City together, and we were roomies together and had a wonderful time. And look at her card, isn't it stunning? She has taken the time to die cut all of those lanterns and she's given this a Chinese lantern look. So I am just so impressed and inspired by her work. She's also included some of the little mini sequins and gotten a tone uh, like a multiple generation stamping look to give some dimension to the look in the background. This is a fantastic card, Meg. 
you really outdid yourself and anybody who received this card for swapping is going to be inspired by all of your ideas here is another special card and this is from Andrea Tucker and she's from Ray Colorado and this was a special card that was made and she's brought it along to give directly to my son and you guys know if you follow my channel that Trip is the one who talks at the end of my videos. So Miss Andrea, who Trip loves so dearly, was nice enough to bring me a card just for Trip, and which was really special. So this is a wonderful, wonderful card, and I'm not sure that you can see that she's taken the extra time to stamp in clear embossing the bones over the dinosaur and it really shows up nicely in person. That's the one thing about the camera is it doesn't always pick up all the details. But something extra special here is that there is an added package. There is a little treat holder on the back and that is something special that Miss Andrea did for Trip, and he loves it. I took it out of the package and I told him I needed to take it back because I wanted to show you all and this is such a great work. Thank you for thinking of Trip, Miss Andrea. He loves you very much. He's your biggest fan. This card also does not have a stamper's name on it, but I can tell that this is just wonderful. All of the design elements are put together nicely. Could you imagine this design as a Christmas card? Maybe a piece of Christmas paper here and then a Christmas greeting with some con contrasting colors. This is a nice design, and one of the wonderful things about swap cards is that sometimes they spur our imagination on what we can create for ourselves and the products that we have in our hands. Not necessarily that we have to copy anything, but just gaining inspiration and using that inspiration to create something all your own. Stephanie Ferrara has this beautiful card and it has a little bit of an artsy watercolor look to it and I really like how she has separated the contrasting designer series paper pieces and this is on watercolor paper and she's she's taken a lot of extra steps for this I think this is the messy watercolor where you stamp onto the ink pad and then spritz your stamp it really looks great Here's another one that doesn't have a name on it, but look at the time taken to cut this out. I believe there's a die for this little coffee cup, but I know she would have had to really take some time and effort to do this. This is a wonderful card. She's created some texture at the top with an embossing folder, and then we have the visual texture at the bottom, and then we have a transition line, and it really looks fun. This is also a great design that you can adapt for a Christmas card or for any occasion, birthdays especially, but, but this is a very nice design to keep in mind for creating other projects. Here's another full card, and this one is just so sunshiny and happy. It says best wishes, but you could easily change out the greeting for a birthday card or any occasion. It's really nice. We have some touches of orange coming through on the sunflower and that matches with the orange bits of the designer series paper and the yellow flowers. It's very well thought out and if you really get a good look at it you can see that this is a pretty 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 card. Very nice. Tammy Richard is next and this is the cutest little Santa Claus look at his clothes are on the line and you could mount this card front onto many different colors you could go green or black white mix in a designer series paper border this is this is really cute and I really like the possibilities with this card the next one is from Sandra Hernandez and she's from Warner Robins Georgia and it feels like we've got more than one thing in here Maybe there's a surprise. I think somebody else's project kind of got stuck inside the envelope with hers. 
I got a couple of 3D swaps. I did not create any 3Ds, but um, I had gotten a few, and it looks like the ribbon that held this together has fallen away. And I don't have the crafter's name on this, but it's really nicely thought out. This is a really cool way to have a notepad, maybe for your pocketbook. It's really pretty. And I love the colors that she's chosen. But this one is not from the same person. This is Sandra Hernandez. And everything is just jumping off of the card here. She's done some beautiful sponging and it really looks nice. So I'll show also the 3D items that I got. There's not too many of them, but there are some people who were kind enough to swap a regular card for a 3D. This is a little treat package holder from my friend Maria Willis, and she lives in California. The color combination on this is just delicious. I love how she's used all of the striking contrast colors to her benefit. This was actually some sticky hands. It's like the little um, plastic sticky thing that you can throw on the wall and it sticks. And she has included her information here. There we go, which I'll show you. So you can visit her website at cardbomb.blogspot.com. And I took out the sticky hand because my son couldn't wait. He had to have it. So she's used some great designer series paper here. And it looks like, um, it's like in a matchbook style. Really looks great. And I believe I have another one right over here. So she's used a couple of different uh, color combinations. And, oh, this is gorgeous, isn't it? I love, we've got the same colors happening, but in different places. And the little sticky hands. I'll open it up so you can see it. My oldest son, Trip, he got his hands on the sticky hands. And this one is supposed to be for my younger son, Nate. So it's got a little toy inside and not candy, which is thoughtful because we don't always give our children candy. But this is a little, little sticky hands thing. And then you can close it back up, matchbook style. Very cool, Maria. Thanks for swapping with me. I love that. Here is a package, and I'm not sure. I don't have the crafter's name, but she's an Aussie. And look, it has a little keepsake kangaroo. The kangaroo looks to be a pin. Yep, see, we've got a pin here. So this is an extra special keepsake kind of swap. And the look at all of this glimmer paper. This is really cool. It kind of looks like it is glued down here, and there was a chocolate inside that my husband got a hold of. So sometimes the swaps that have candy in them don't last too long around my house. Here is the other half of this one, and maybe we can put it back together. And this was from Chelsea Ray. Thank you so much, Chelsea, for gifting this for me. This is nice. I'll have to, uh, it didn't travel too well in my bag. My bag was really, really, really stuffed. <laughs> so um, I, I did not plan to come home with as many things as I went with, but somehow it didn't work out that way. But it looks like we've got a piece of ribbon here that we can put. Let's see how I would do it is put this piece of ribbon through and then pull it through so that I don't lose all these pages because this is just the coolest little swap ever. This would be a great idea if you're a demonstrator to share with your customers and you could even take this and make it for different holidays. All right, so now we have everything held together and it looks like this is this scallop top tag punch. Here's another one that my family has not gotten a hold of the chocolate yet, but I'm sure its days are numbered. <laughs> this is the cutest little elf and we have a Ghirardelli chocolate back here. That's some really good chocolate. 
So I don't think it'll last very long. I don't have a crafter's name on the back, but it's colored in with markers and featured on some contrast colors, and it's really cute. This chocolate's days are numbered in my family, I'm telling you. They really do like them. And this is from the Paper Pixie, and that's Julie the Mayo. I couldn't have picked a better friend than you. That is so cute with this berry burst. This is a wonderful little 3D. You have front and back interest. This is coolest of all, Julie. I love it. Thank you for swapping with me. And what do we have inside? More chocolate for hubby. He is gonna be a chocolate eating boy. Very cool. This would be a great little teacher's gift or students. You could go over to her blog if you wanna know how to make the treat holder. She's known as the Paper Pixie, so you can look her up on um, Google and find her blog, and I'm sure you can find some information or maybe a way to contact her and start making these yourself. They are coolest of all. And this is a little, little purse or pocketbook, or you could use any different way to describe it. It's kind of fallen a little bit apart, just a little bit. This was made by my friend Tanya, and I think this was where the little pumpkin was supposed to go. So cute. This was something that she featured at a craft fair, and hold on, I got a little bit of stuff going on here. Here we go. There's some Velcro on here, and you can see that you can write a little note. So this is Tanya Bozer, and there we go. Wonderful colors, contrast colors, and you can make this for any occasion. And here is some chapstick inside. So you can never have enough of the chapstick, any kind of lip cream. My kids are stealing mine all the time. I like how this opens up wide. It doesn't necessarily, um, it's, it's got a lot of give to it. It's, it's a great thought out design. So if you would like to find out more about this, you can visit Tanya's website. Tinkerinandink.blogspot.com. Really cool. So if you have any questions about anything that I've got in a swap and I can help you with, then just leave a comment here and I will be glad to help you or direct you to the right place. I'm going to put this little thing right back in here. This is so cute. Look at that. You just put your to and from. This is a great gift idea to make for someone for many different holidays. Well, thank you all for joining me today. I'm going to be creating another video that has my display boards from the 2017 On Stage Live, and it's all created with new products. Some of it has new products with some old products, just to show how we can intertwine what we have in our craft stash and maybe add a little bit something extra. But thanks for joining me today, and stay tuned for that next video that has all of the swaps. I think I'm going to uh, start recording that in a few minutes, and so it'll be a follow-up to this under a separate video stream. Thanks for joining me today. I'll see you in the next video.